Just a heads up, the first six and a half, seven minutes of this video is going to be relatively serious on a topic that I think matters to a decent amount of people outside of my circle, also inside of my circle. So if you have somebody with special needs who struggles to be employed, get employed, uh, struggles to maintain work, um, knowing that the person has difficulty maintaining relations, I think that what I've learned on my journey can also be of use to you. Check it out. Let's go. I want to cover a topic <clears throat> that um, I think people will find useful. Um, people in my circle know a lot about me, but when I go out in the world, they don't know anything about me. And so while you work or when you go out into these places, somebody with multiple disabilities, autism, epilepsy, um, there's just a whole depression because of the malformed corpus callosum. There's a whole laundry list of things that become applicable. One of the things I deal with with employers past tense going forward and working on experimenting, I'm doing things that I don't think many people are doing with family members with special needs or, or the individual themselves with special needs. Um, I'm fortunate enough to be highly intelligent and very self-aware. Um, in some cases they just aren't. And so they need somebody to speak on their behalf as far as communicating cues and everything. So for me, when I'm out in public at my job and an instance comes up in the past, um, it had the ability to dictate my experience with my employer and prevented me from scaling up and out as far as responsibilities and contributions go to the business. And so what I have done with my present employer in an experiment is to say, hey, can we sit down and talk about the conversation that was negative that we had the other day? I want to use it as an opportunity to say the following to you. I'll put a text message in here somewhere to show you the text string in an effort to educate you guys about things that have been working for me as somebody with disabilities who doesn't necessarily have, um, in certain capacities, the intellect required for job applications, uh, resume building, and and some of those issues when it comes to employment. And so what happened is past experiences would be so negative that I would end up being let go or leaving because I was so miserable and I wasn't happy and the relationships with my coworkers diminished. And so I came up with this idea a long time ago and I tried it on my father because I was living with him and I'd say, hey, dad, and he'd be like, what's up, Matt? And I would say, I'm not right right now. I need some space. I need to process and I'll come back to you. That one was established for my depression. Then some more time goes by and I realized this might be applicable to other situations. And so I... Um, when we would fight, I'd say, hey, dad, I hear you. You got to give me time to process because in the moment, my anxieties and I get these feelings in my stomach and I know it's there, but in the heat of the moment, um, it's more difficult to be restrained in, in verbal communications. And so that's when I was like, it just clicked and I was like, hey dad, when we fight, or when we communicate, or when we argue, or when you give me criticism, give me a couple days, I will always come back to you. And so I sat down with my employer and I said, hey, I know that the issue we had isn't a big deal, but in the future there's bound to be something and I want to use this opportunity to tell you guys about me and what I go through in those instances and how we can communicate with each other to, to then follow up on the issue that we had to, to make sure that we're all on the same page. We won't be right away, but I set up to where I would say, okay, 
when they come to talk to me the first time, and then we would follow up and discuss it further after the fact when the emotions aren't high and they're, um, so I had the first meeting and I sat down and we talked about it and they were very receptive to it, which was awesome. Very, very proud of that. And they liked some of my feedback for the business and, um, it's the first positive from a typically negative scenario and I'm super excited about this. <clears throat> Many of these things, they just don't exist. And so from when I was a kid to where we are now as a society and the level of understanding, the level of interest in understanding and trying to do the right thing, I'm, absolute, I'm absolutely mind blown. So without further ado, we're gonna jump into some clips about me living in paradise. I love it here. I believe in the dream, guys. Let's go. Break for a heartbreak kid Too young to die, too old to talk shit I got highs and those mixing in my head With too much to do and no time to do it 